everybody. My name is Jessica, my pronouns are she, her. I'm super excited for this class today. Today we're gonna be focusing on hips and not just stretching and opening the hips, um, but hip strength and hip stability. Um, I feel like those things are a little bit underrated in the yoga world. Everybody's kind of obsessed with opening their hips and getting into the splits. But when we talk about mobility and healthy hips in our old age, um, stability and strengthening is just as important as stretching and opening. So we're gonna have a little focus on that today. As far as props, um, pretty much any class you take with me, I'm gonna suggest bringing a blanket for comfort, um, but we will definitely need, if you don't have blocks, um, especially like sturdy cork ones like this, you can grab a couple of books or maybe just one thick book, that works just fine. We're gonna be standing on the blocks for a little bit today. That's why it's important that we don't use super soft, squishy blocks. So certainly you can find something around your house to bring to the class and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much. Hi everybody. So today we're gonna start in a seated position. I've got a folded up blanket underneath my hips to elevate them and um, to allow me to sit up a little taller. I would suggest um, you also bring a blanket or a block under the seat and we're gonna settle in, sitting nice and tall, tucking the chin just a little bit, um, thinking of the crown of the head really pointing straight up to the ceiling. Relax the hands, palms up on top of the thighs. Relax the shoulders down. Close the eyes or soften the gaze. I'm just gonna take a moment here to give ourselves some space to be present and to get ready to move a little bit today. So. Start to pay attention to where the breath is flowing. Without changing it, just notice where you're at today, in this moment. And then when you have a, a good finger on how your breath is flowing today, let's start to deepen it. So slowly bringing that breath a little bit deeper into the body settling and grounding on the exhale, allowing the body to be heavy. Feeling the gentle expansion of each breath as you draw it a little bit deeper. Next inhale, let's take an audible exhale together. So taking a big inhale here and sighing it out. Mm, very good. If your eyes are closed, start to blink them open here. And we're gonna come right into bound angle, Baddha Konasana. Just bringing the feet together <clears throat> allowing the knees to fall out nice and wide and making sure the sits bones are in contact with whatever you're sitting on so maybe even moving the flesh out of the way and making sure you can feel those sits bones and if you have sensitive knees you can certainly bring your blocks or um, rolled up blankets or books or whatever you're using underneath the knees to support and the closer your feet are to your body, the more intense this is going to be. So if you already feel this is super intense, just slide the feet away from the body just a little bit. So we're going to start seated here, just getting used to the sensation. Sitting up nice and tall, again, tucking that chin slightly. Think of drawing the shoulders back just a little bit and the chest forward just a little bit. And after a breath or two, we're going to reach down for either the shins or the ankles or the outside of the feet if you can uh, reach, if you can manage that. 
We want to have the spine nice and long. So again, draw those shoulders back, spine is long. Taking a big inhale here. And on the exhale, we're going to hinge up the hips and just find a forward fold. Make sure you're not rounding through the back. Keep that spine long, pull the chest forward. And if it feels good, maybe the elbows come into the knees and kind of press them out, relaxing the neck and the head. Just gently finding the opening in the hips here. And sending your breath to wherever you feel the sensation growing in your body. Just taking a few more breaths here. And if more space opens up for you, you can adjust yourself as needed. Nice long spine here. And one more breath. Very good. On the next inhale, start to come back upright, sitting up nice and tall. And then from here, let's remove the prop underneath our hips. If you've got one, and just bring it off to the side. And we're going to bring the soles of our feet towards the ground, open up the knees nice and wide. Hands can come behind you to support you. And then we're gonna drop both knees over to the left side. So <clears throat> a little side saddle here. This back leg can be adjusted. So if you feel like you have some space in the hips, you can kind of wedge that knee back a little bit. Um, but if you feel tight, like your uh, thigh is popping up off the ground, bring the knee up a little bit. We really want the inner thigh of this back leg to be flush with the ground as much as possible. So from here, turn the torso and bring your hands in front of the right leg. Find where that stretches. It might be that reaching straight forward like this feels really good and you feel the stretch. You might have to walk your hands over to the front a little bit. So find where it works for you and wherever you feel the stretch, plant your hands down, extend the arms and start to relax the head down. Just breathing into the right hip and the left inner thigh, allowing the legs to be heavy on the ground, relaxing, noticing if you're holding yourself tightly. Extending the arms forward a little more if you've got the space that's opened up. Maybe you inch your fingers forward a little more and encourage your torso down. Just a few more breaths here. Mm, very good. Last breath. And then we'll start to walk the hands back into the body, coming back to center. And then hands come behind. We're going to bring the feet back to the ground here. So wide knees, soles of the feet towards the ground. And then we'll drop both knees over to the left this time. Finding what feels good here. You might be more open or more tight on one side and just determining that for yourself and working with what you've got today. Planting the hands down wherever it feels best. Extending the arms, relaxing the torso and the neck and the head. Send the breath into the hip, into the left hip, into the in inner right thigh. And just allowing the body to settle.
remembering to keep everything soft. Last breath here. And start to walk the hands into the body, coming back to center. And then from here, we're going to transition into onto hands and knees, tabletop position. So taking your time, making your way up. Coming to a nice tabletop, you want to think of the hips over the knees and the shoulders over the uh, elbows and the elbows over the wrists. Nice, long, neutral spine. Gaze comes down to elongate that spine. And from here, we're gonna bring the knees together to find our center of balance. <clears throat> Shift your weight into the right leg and the right knee. You're gonna lift the left leg up. So lifting that left leg off of the mat, using the hip to lift it up. Left foot comes up towards the ceiling, bending and lifting that left knee, flexing the foot, inhaling here. Exhale, bring that knee back down, but not all the way to the ground. On the next inhale, we're gonna open the knee up towards the side, kind of like a dog <laughs> and a fire hydrant. Opening up, using the muscles around the hip. Exhale, come down, knee hovers. Inhale, kicking up, sole of the foot up towards the sky, moving nice and slow. Exhale, come down. Inhale, open up. Try to keep those hips stable. So if you notice that your hip wants to pop open a whole lot, try to keep it stable. Try to use the muscles in the hip to make the movement. Inhale up, one more round. Squeeze a little tighter, exhale. Hover the knee and inhale, open up. Very good. Place the left knee down, shake it out a little bit, and then we'll come back to center. We're going to find that on the opposite side. So lifting the right knee up this time. Inhale, lift that foot up towards the sky. Right knee is bent. Exhale, knee comes down to hover. Inhale, open up to the side. Keep those hips stable and squared off to the ground. Exhale, knee hovers. Inhale, up. Lift, lift, lift. Flex that foot. Exhale, down, hovering. Inhale, out and open. Keeping those hips stable. Exhale, down. One more round. Inhale, kicking up. Maybe a little higher this time, now that we're warmed up. Exhale, down. Inhale, open. Squeeze, hold, hold, hold. Square those hips off. And exhale, down. Very good. Shake it out here, take a breath. We'll stay here in tabletop position. So open the knees up a little bit. We want hip widths or pelvis width apart. Usually that translates into like one or two fists between the knees. Find your stability here. Inhale, spine comes down, dip the belly down, cow pose, look up, elbow comes up. Exhale, cat, arch through the spine, pressing the ground away. A couple more rounds at your pace, inhaling cow pose. And exhaling, curling into yourself here. Arms are strong. Spine is fluid. One more round. Really moving slow to articulate the movement in your spine. Very good. Coming back to center here, we're going to bring our knees in together once again. And on the next inhale, we're gonna come into a modified or supported side plank. So we're going to start by extending that left leg behind us, bring the ball of the foot down to the mat, and then spiral that foot down, find a seal with the foot. And we're gonna to start to walk the left hand into the body, back and in, and then lift up. So really pressing down through the top of the right foot, the top of the right shin, and the right palm 
to lift yourself up here. Taking your breath, finding your balance, staring at something that's not moving, your dristi, something you can draw balance from. And when you feel nice and stable, bring that top hand to the hip. Shift the weight into the arm a little bit more. And we're gonna start to lift that left leg up. Flexing the left foot, lifting it up, squeezing the glutes, and exhale, lower. We're gonna try that a few more times at your own pace. Inhale, lift up, flex that foot, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, lower, two more times. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower, last one. Inhale, lift, flex that foot, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, lower, left hand comes back down, left knee comes back down. Shake it out, shake out the hips, move from side to side. And then we'll get right into this from the other side. So I'm just gonna switch so that I'm facing you, you can stay where you are. Back to tabletop. Knees come in together, finding your center of gravity here. And then when you're ready, planting that right foot back, right hand is gonna start to lift up. And then hand comes to the waist here. So we're coming from the side plank into a half moon, start to Lift that back leg up, squeeze, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Really getting into the muscles around the hip to do the lifting. Two more times, inhale, lift, flex that extended leg, that foot, exhale, lower. And last one, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower, hand and knee come back down. And let's find a quick child's pose here. So taking the knees nice and wide, sending the hips back towards the heels, extending the arms, and laying the torso down here. So the head can come down to the ground or you, you can rest on one side of the face. Really look for an extension in the lower back here. So pressing the hips back, finding a lengthening in the spine, releasing the shoulders and the chest down to the ground. And finding the rhythm in your breath again. Very nice, one more breath here. And then on the next inhale, let's start to come back up to all fours, taking your time here. Coming back to tabletop position, shaking it out a little bit. Very good. So coming back into tabletop, Inhaling, extending that right leg out. Walking the hands over to the left side. Exhale, step that right leg forward for a low lunge and peel yourself up nice and gently. Hands come to the top of the thigh, sitting up nice and tall, tucking the tailbone a little bit and maybe pressing forward slightly. Just taking a few breaths here. And if it feels good, maybe lift the arms up. One more breath here. 
On the exhale, we're gonna come into a runner stretch. So bring the hands down, either to frame the foot or to the inside of the foot. And you can certainly grab your props for this. We're gonna to start to send the hips back slightly and extend this front leg. So finding a stretch in the front leg, you can reposition your heel if you need to. And bringing hands to props if the ground feels far away from you. Flexing the right foot up towards your face and keeping the spine as long as you can. And relaxing the neck and the head down. Try to avoid sitting all the way back onto the heel because you're gonna lose some of the stretch in that front leg. And when you find a position where you can feel it, you can feel it stretching behind the leg, take your right fingers into the crease of your right hip and just gently push back to get a little bit deeper. One more breath here. And on the next inhale, coming back into that lunge, hands come to the top of the thigh, reach up. Exhale, hands come down to the inside of the foot, and we're gonna heel toe that right leg back, back to tabletop position, coming back to hands and knees. And we're gonna get right into it on the other side. So when you're ready, extend that left leg behind you. Walk the hands over to the right side. Exhale, step forward, find your low lunge. Hands come to the top of the thigh. Really focus on your balance here. Again, looking at something that's not moving. Tuck the tailbone, press the hips forward, slightly reach the arms up. Think of the thighs being magnetized together for stability. And on the next exhale, we'll find that runner stretch. So coming hands down to the ground or to your blocks, repositioning that front foot so that the heel is a little uh, more in front of you. That's absolutely fine. Sending the hips back slightly and lengthening that front leg, flexing the left toes up towards your face. Spine is nice and long. Start to fold down as much as you can. Breathing into the back of the left leg and take the left fingers into the left hip crease. Encourage that hip back. One more breath here. And on the next inhale, we'll come back into that lunge, nice and gently, really rooting down through that front foot, lifting the arms up for one breath. Exhale, hands come down to the inside of the foot. We'll heel toe the left foot out, come back to tabletop position. Very good, shake it out a little bit here. Maybe, maybe we draw the right shoulder over to the right hip, stretching out the side body. And then left shoulder to left hip. Mm, very good. Let's come back to center here, planting the hands in. Curl the toes under, take a big inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shift the weight into the hands, lift the knees up. Shifting the weight back into the heels, pedaling it out if it feels good. Relax the neck and the head. Wide, wide stance. Inhale, step the feet out. Exhale, walk the hands back. Wide leg forward fold. Planting the hands down into the ground or grabbing the ankles or the shins or even using your blocks here. Allow the torso to be heavy and to root your body forward. Use this uh, body weight as a passive stretch here. And always, Always okay to keep the knees nice and soft, allowing the torso or the belly to rest on the thighs or between the legs. 
Mm, one more breath here. Mm, and on the exhale, we'll slowly come forward, heel toeing the feet together a little bit closer. Hinging at the hips and then bringing the arms all the way up and overhead. One more breath here, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's take just a moment here. Breathing. And this would be a perfect time for a water break if you want to grab a quick drink, you can join me or press pause. Perfect, perfect. So coming back to standing in the center of the mat, we're gonna grab our blocks here. If you have cork blocks, some solid blocks, that's perfect. We're gonna stand on the blocks. Um, sometimes foam blocks are, make this a little bit difficult. So if you don't have cork blocks or sturdy, sturdy blocks, grab a couple of books, that works just fine. We're going to get into the hip a little bit and activate these hip muscles just a little bit more, nothing crazy, but a little bit of elevation is gonna be very helpful here. So I'm going to stand, start standing on the block with my left foot. In fact, let me situate this back a little bit more. I've got quite big feet, so I'm going to use my blocks as a T like this. These are little petite blocks. So standing with your left foot, of course, your left knee is going to be bent here a little bit. And we're going to lift ourselves up. So taking all the weight into the left foot that's on the block. Um, and we're going to kind of with the muscles around the hips and not with the tendons or the momentum um, or the side body, we're going to lift the opposite hip in. So kind of hard to explain, but once you get up on the blocks and start doing it, you'll understand what I'm saying. So shifting the weight into the left foot, start to lift the right foot off of the mat, maybe even coming to the ball of the foot. And then we want to bring that foot all the way up. So using the hip kind of lift here and the opposite hip, I think wants to kind of pop out to overcompensate for being lopsided. Try to squeeze that in and with the muscles around the right hip, lift the leg up. So it might take you a few times to get that sensation. Lift, 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 lower, inhale, lift, 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 press the left hip in raise and lower we'll try it one more time shifting the weight into the left foot kickstanding the right and then squeezing that left hip in and really using the muscles around the right hip flexor to lift and then lower and you're going to want to shake the left leg out because it's doing all the work and you should feel this whole area these muscles around the hips feeling like they're warmed up right so we're gonna switch sides, taking the right foot onto the block this time, getting nice and centered, lifting up to the ball of the left foot, and then taking that foot all the way up by squeezing the opposite hip, and then lower, relax. Inhale, lift up, squeeze, lift, 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 ah, relax. Two more times, taking your time, gaze comes down, lift and squeeze, lift that hip up, lower, last one, lift up, lift up, squeeze, ah, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release, very good, shake it out, I know that was a lot. All right, so for our last posture, we're gonna come right into Malasana, which is a wide yoga squat. <clears throat> so if uh, you know that this is not your pose, if you have any knee issues or you need some support, 
stack your blocks up or whatever props you're using and they can come right underneath the hips or the sits bones and you can stack as many things as you need so whatever height you need in fact we are going to in this <laughs> in this yoga class we're going to put the blanket on top of those blocks so we'll start with a nice wide stance approximately um, uh, maybe double hip width distance apart. It really just depends on your body. Heels are gonna come in slightly, toes are gonna come out. Nice long spine, stand up nice and tall here. Shoulders up to the ears and then let them fall down. We're gonna bring our hands to heart center and really press those elbows out. And we're gonna start to find our squat. So with keeping our chest and our toes, torso as straight as we possibly can, we're gonna start to bend into the knees and come down as far as we can. So if this is as far as you can make it, that's fine, hold it here. Otherwise, see what's there for you. Lowering down and see if you can position your elbows to the inside of the knees and use that to open the thighs up. Hands come to heart center and try to bring that chest forward. We wanna avoid like doing one of these things. Try to sit up nice and tall. And if that means you can't come down as far as you had intended, that's fine. Be okay with that today. Settle in wherever you're at. Tuck the chin slightly. Breathe into the hips wherever you feel the sensation building. more breaths here, allow the release to happen. And notice what you're feeling. If your body is like, get me out of this position, just notice, is it because it's uncomfortable or is it because it hurts? If you're feeling any pain, come right out of this. If it's uncomfortable, let's ask ourselves some questions. Why? <laughs> Why are we feeling this? Can we breathe through it? And the more that you start to question yourself, the more you realize like a lot of this is in your head. So I'd like you to kind of take a look and ask yourself some questions and just be honest with yourself. If it's hurting, come out. If it's just discomfort, take one more breath. And last breath here, nice and slow. <sighs> Very good, exhale. Bringing the hands down into the hands, lifting the hips up. Keep folded here, shake it out for just a second. And then slowly walking your hands up your legs, long spine, hinging at the hips. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Very good. From here, we're going to come down onto our backs. So take your time making space, lowering yourself down. Let's take a big inhale here. And on the exhale, draw the knees into the chest for Apanasana. And maybe rock a little bit from side to side, really pressing the low back into the mat, giving yourself a little massage, a little, a little hooray, a little hip hip hooray. Come back to center here. Bring the feet to the mat, nice and easy. And we're gonna come into a figure four here. So we'll start with the left ankle on top of the right knee. Nice and easy here. And you can kind of rock from side to side on the right foot, figure out what feels good for you.
And I'm gonna give two options here. You can either let the left foot fall across the body, all the way to the ground or to your blocks. And this can be the posture for you, breathing into that, if you like that sensation. The other option is a little more intensity and we're gonna to drop to the opposite direction. So left foot comes to the left side, hooking the right knee and kind of getting the outside of this hip. So if that feels okay for you, stay here. Otherwise, take the other option. Just find what feels good. Maybe you do both. Very good. Come back to center on the next inhale. And gently guide that right foot back down to the ground. And we're gonna switch sides. So this time the right ankle comes to the top of the left thigh. Again, rocking from side to side, notice which side feels a little bit better. Or you can try both. So we can drop that right foot all the way across to the left side and let it hang out there. Or we can hook the right foot around the left ankle or knee and fall to the opposite direction. Whatever feels good. Yogi's choice. Couple more breaths here. We've almost made it. And on the next inhale, find your way back to center. Slowly, gently, no rush. Both feet down here. Maybe windshield wipe your, your legs from side to side, kind of resetting everything. And then we will take our final Shavasana. So extending the legs or keeping the knees bent, whatever feels good, bringing a blanket or a pillow under the head allowing the arms to fall out, allowing your entire body to soften and settle into this posture. A lot of folks will say that this is the most difficult posture. It's so hard for us to relax sometimes. So if you feel anxious or fidgety or like you want to stop the video and move on, that's all normal. But I urge you to see this as an active part of your practice, this relaxation, this letting go, this just being. Observing the fluctuations of your emotions, of your thoughts without judgment, without active participation. Allowing the breath to flow freely without control or manipulation. Thank you so, so much for allowing me to guide you through this practice. Uh, 
this concludes our time together. If you would like to extend your Shavasana, you're more than welcome. Namaste. Thank you.